Hello everybody! I'm back to share a little bit of the work that I've made for the remake. Today I want to share the green power-up Rayman model. So right off the bat, let me explain what I'm doing with the hair right now. So back when I was talking about the power-up cans in my first project update video, I got this comment on Twitter from Misty, and basically I just thought that this is a really cool idea. Although I'm trying to make my own version of the Vortex hair because, well this one, I don't know, it just looks too much like a Dune sandworm to me. Okay, while I'm blocking in the hairstyle in the background, I'll go ahead and answer some questions I got on my Discord server in the questions channel. So first up we got Chipa asking, when can we expect the demo and how far would I say the Fairy Council level is completed like percentage wise? Thank you Chipa very much for this question. Now I can put like a clickbait title where it's going to seem like I reveal some kind of release date for the Fairy Council level. So that's awesome. Okay, so here it goes. I can confidently say that I have absolutely no clue. All right, awesome. Thank you very much for your question. The next question comes from my favorite person in the Rayman community, Jodo, if that's how I'm supposed to read that username. Have I ever considered making an original level in my remake? So I haven't really thought about adding an original level, but since the beginning of the project, I thought that it would be cool if at some point I could add in a bonus challenge platforming level. Something similar to the one on screen right now. I don't mean by that at a level where you just jump on these platforms. I'm just talking about a level that's supposed to be pretty challenging, has some kind of time limit, and is in no way related to the main campaign. Another amazing question. Thank you, Jono. Now, Drope asks if I'm planning to add in Zoar into the game. Most of you probably don't know, but Zoar is a piece of cut content. If I'm not mistaken, it was supposed to be this big beast that chases you in one point of the game, I think, in like a Crash Bandicoot style chase. Again, I gotta answer this with a I don't know. It's just a little too early to tell. But nonetheless, thank you for another great question. Now, I also have some updates on the community made skins. I can now play as the Rayman 2 Robo Pirate, thanks to Jeremy. I find him absolutely amazing and adorable. I love it. Thank you for this. Now, Bad Force, if you're still watching, I think you're gonna like this one. Because thanks to Karova, now playing as Rayblox is actually a real possibility. This one is a little different than the other skins because it's actually my model but retextured. I know I've said before that I want people to make their own models and not just repaint the one I made because I didn't want to have it where 99% of the skins are just simple recolors. But Karova reached out to me saying that he wants to recreate the Dark Rayman from Rayman Origins. So I had to agree that creating a whole new model from scratch just for that didn't really make much sense. So I made an exception. So yeah, except for the Ray Blocks skin, there's also the Dark Rayman. But that's not all actually, as he provided me with one more repaint. This time something of his own design. So say hello to Ray Monger. All three are really cool, thank you. If you have any thoughts about this one, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as the author is curious what people think. Okay, a cool piece of news that I would like to mention is that James McKenzie from Rayman Together made a community spotlight about me and my project. So if you're interested, you can go check it out. The link is in the description. Thanks a lot, James, for reaching out to me. Doing this was a very fun experience and it was super nice getting to know you better. Okay, I see that sculpting mark is still slowly but surely chipping away at the hair. I'll come back to see you once I think of something to say. Now it's music time.
with the hair blocked out, I can finally move on to some other things, like the gauntlets. Although those are such a simple shape that this is going to take like a minute. Alright, I lied, that was more like a minute and a half. Now I'm adding in a face mask, which is really convenient, because aside from the fact that it looks pretty cool, it also hides the transition between Rayman's head and his hair that I created. So I don't have to worry about making the transition between his head and the hair smooth, like it's in the base model. Not that that's a big problem, but it just saves me a lot of time. Back to the hair again, gotta refine that blobby blockout mesh into something cleaner and sharper. And then once this is done, I'm gonna switch to the texturing time lapse.
All right, time to do some texturing. To save some time, I base this off of the project file for the base mesh. This way I have all the layers put in place. So most of the things that I need to do is swap some colors. By the way, before moving on to painting, I had to do all the retopology and weight painting for the rigging. So at this point, I already know how this is going to look with the animations and stuff like that. And I gotta say, I really like how his hair moves when he's running. As you can see, I didn't have a chance to stop talking and all the colors for the body are almost there. All that's left now is just painting the new stuff, so the headband, the hair and the gauntlets. I feel like I can already see the comments about this part, so let me explain why I'm painting this checkerboard pattern by hand instead of just using some kind of projection which would be much faster and would probably give the same results or better. So the reason why I'm doing this this way is because I'm just dumb like this sometimes. My mind just went completely blank on me. Oh well. This is the last thing I do before finishing with the texture, so if you don't feel like watching me try to paint an even checkerboard by hand, you can just skip to the final chapter of this video.
Okay, I think the best way to end the video is to run around the game and show the skin in action. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.